Hey guys, Karan from Movie Scrub here and customizing an Android smartphone has always been thought of as a very complex task. So I'm going to make it real easy for you. We're going to go from looking like this to looking like that. And I'm going to take you through the steps required, the apps required. And it also serves as a tutorial video to those who do follow my Android home screen customization videos. And you're going to need two apps for that. The first one is Nova Launcher and the second one is KWGT Widget Pack. All right. So Nova Launcher is a home screen replacement app. It superficially changes the way you interact with your phone. There's also a paid version of Nova Launcher, uh, which does unlock a couple of more features. So if you really need it, you can buy it as well. Now, once you've installed Nova Launcher, just go to your uh, app drawer and tap on Nova Launcher. There will be a couple of uh, beginner screens, so you can just follow what I'm doing here. Essentially, it's a home screen replacement app. It superficially changes the way you interact with the phone. When you tap on home, just use Nova Launcher as your default um, home replacement screen and then just get rid of everything that's there in the beginning. So, you know, Nova Launcher will just completely replace your home screen and add its own stuff. So I suggest that you remove everything and start completely afresh. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take away everything. I'm going to take the screens and dump them into a bin and whatever remaining icons or folders that are there or widgets that are there, I'm just going to, oh, there's no trash can for that. Just have to long tap and press remove and remove. Okay. So now, I'm all set and just long press on the home screen and enter settings. And this is where all the magic happens. Go into the first option, which is desktop. Here you can change your desktop grid. This changes the number of rows and columns that are there on your home screen. And that gives you a lot of flexibility in how many widgets you can place. You can also change how big or small the icons on your desktop should be. You can remove the labels or the names of that app if you wish to. And you can change the text color as well of that. So depending on your wallpaper, you can change the color to match it better. Now, there's something called as persistent search bar, which is also pretty cool about Nova. There's nothing on the home screen, right? So if you long press, go into settings and enable the persistent search bar. Not only that, you can also change the style that's there. So right now you have this dark rounded search bar style. You can change that to anything. Like there's all of these styles that are available and you can see that they're changing shape on the top. Let me just change the color of the bar to white so it's just more prominent to you. And now you can see the changes. All of these are available to you and you can just set one basis your preference or basis the wallpaper or basis the widgets that you have on your home screen. So again, a lot of customization. Now let's get into the app and widget drawers. So this is the app drawer where all your apps reside. You can change the grid size of your app drawer pretty much the same way as you did for the home screen. So more rows and more columns just mean that you would have more icons, but then you might want to reduce the icon size so that there's a lot of space. So now let's go to your app drawer and see what it looks like. As you can see, you just have more apps laid out um, in this really large, uh, you know, grid size, or you could just reduce it back. So go into your app and widget drawer again, go into uh, the app grid, sorry. Uh, yeah, you could actually increase the size back, go into your app grid, and lower the number of uh, columns and then here you go. So again, a lot of customization. Uh, you can change the app drawer style. So if you're more of, you know, you wanted pages, so horizontal pages or just a list, you can do that. Um, you could also change the background color of the app drawer. Again, it's just, you know, one of those really cool things that you could do. So let's change the color to something like um, green. All right, I'm, I'm gonna let the transparency be for now. It looks okay because of the transparency is really bad. But let me go and up the transparency here all the way up to about uh, 50, 70%. There we go and have a look now. But again, there are just so many features and settings that you could play with. And I do encourage you to play around so that you can get a better feel of this. Now, dock is basically this, you know, the dock that you see at the bottom that you could swipe up to uh, open the app drawer. You could first, you could just disable it completely. So if you want like a super immersive experience, just disable the dock now. But if you do choose to enable it, there are a bunch of settings that you could play with. First of all, you could choose to have a dock background or not. So you're, you know, behind the dock, you could have a, a tray, which is a, either a platform or a rectangle or it's rounded. You can change its color and shape. 
you could decide how many pages of docs do you want. So each doc is, let's say, five icons. You can have two, three, or four pages of those icons. And each doc or each page should have how many icons. You can set that as well. You can change the size of that, of course. I mean, if you have seven icons, you'll have to reduce the size so that they're just easier to breathe. And coming to the most important one is icon themes. If you go into look and feel and then click on icon theme, you could apply any icon set that you've either purchased or installed for free from the Play Store. So that's that's really important. It's going to be very key to customizations. And the next one is gestures and inputs. It's only available if you pay for like the Nova Launcher Prime, but it's really powerful. I mean, with just simple gestures, you could launch apps, shortcuts, a direct dial, pretty much anything. So just, you know, simple swipes, two fingers uh, swipe up, two fingers swipe down, pinch in, pinch out, rotate your fingers. All of that could do something that you want, all customizable. All right, so play with various Nova Launcher settings to get an understanding of all the options available. I possibly cannot demo everything over here, so the success of understanding Nova Launcher truly depends on how much you use and play with it. But three things that are really important to customization is the dock, applying an icon pack, and changing and being able to change the grid size. So just keep those three in mind. All right, so once you have like a really nice wallpaper and you've got Nova Launcher to be able to customize your home screen and your app drawer and your icon packs, you're gonna need some widgets like the ones that you see here. These are all, you know, some uh, wallpapers created by other people, but these really cool widgets that you see, they're all live widgets. Uh, they could be location-based, time-based, weather-based, application-based, anything. And that's when KWGT comes into picture. So it's available in the Play Store. There's a free version which gives you like the basic stuff, but then you have to buy the paid version so that you can freely customize. There are a bunch of KWGT uh, packs available that have been made by various people. So go ahead, some of them are free, some of them are paid for. So as you please. So let's get started. Uh, first, set up a nice wallpaper. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna pick this one up. Uh, it's not the best wallpaper, but I think it'll do the job. The idea is to teach you how to do this. Then let me just quickly get a couple of icons outside that I think I would need more often than others. And after this, oh, by the way, you might want to know which icon pack I'm using. So if you go to settings, look and feel, icon pack, I'm using flat white right now. Uh, these are all the list of icon packs that I have. Some of them are free and some of them are paid for, like Project X, one of my favorite ones. So let me just apply that. And it just changes right like that. You know, you apply and it's all set. Anyway, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna keep it to flat white because that's going to look better with this wallpaper. All right, so flat white and there you go. And now it's time to place that widget. So long press on the home screen, go into widgets, scroll down until you find KWGT. Okay, then once you do, tap and hold. The first one doesn't matter. Tap and hold, drag it and drop it onto the home screen. Now, long press, tap resize, and then just resize this widget just to a convenient size, just a little bit bigger, and then place it wherever you think you want to place the widget. Now this is not final because it really depends on the type of widget. So tap on that uh, widget that you've placed and it'll open this whole list of all KWGT widgets that you have installed on your phone. As I said, just go to the Play Store. There are a bunch of these available. Some are free, some are paid for, just whatever you like download them and install them. And all of those uh, widgets are going to display here each time you uh, tap on one of those. Now, the one that I wanna use is called Elements. And I scroll down all the way to the bottom, I wanna use this one. It's not like the best widget out here, but just for the demonstration and tutorial purpose. Now, once you tap on it, tap on Save and just go back to your home screen. There you go, you have it right there. So it contains time, battery, and three icons, but it's too small. Right? I mean, I would like the time to be bigger and I would want these icons somewhere down here. So to do that, uh, you need to get back into KWGT. But first you need to make the widget bigger so that you can use all of that space. Right now the widget size is constrained. So make it bigger and leave it. But you, you see, it did not scale the entire widget. You need to do that by going inside KWGT. In some cases, you could just tap on the widget and it'll take you inside. But if it does not, just go back to KWGT and it'll show you the widget that you have already. Now, when you get inside, you will see all the items that are contained within this widget. So you see that items uh, column on the left. These are all the items that you have. And each layer could be a mix of more layers. So all elements in this widget are organized here as layers. Now, all of the layers could be grouped differently by different developers. 
So it's really up to you to um, you know open each layer and see what it contains. Now in this case, there's time, there's battery, there's a battery icon. Um, there are three circles here and then there is an icon inside of each circles. That's what you see. Uh, there could still be more things, but you can again get to know as you explore. Uh, let's say that I want to do something specific with these icons that are inside. I'm assuming that's what the developer called icons and it has grouped it under icons. So if I click on icons, I see there's a stack group. Now forget about the word stack. Just focus on um, there are three things inside that there should be three things inside this. So if I tap on it, I see the phone, text and internet icons laid out here. Now if you want to change something very specific about either of these icons, that's when you come to this level. You'll, you'll see items here. Now if you tap on phone, you would not see items, which means that this further contains no layers and that you're at the last possible layer. Okay, so now, as I said, if you want to make a change to any of this icon specifically is when you come to this. But if you want to make a change to all of the icons together, so go back and work with stack group. So for stack group, sorry, for stack group, you can change things in layer, in position and in touch. So if I go to layer and if I increase the size, all three icons, uh, you know, grow, right? All right, so I've reversed the changes because just increasing the icons was not gonna work. Uh, there are circles that are not a part of that. So depending upon what you want to make a change to, um, you could be in that specific zone. So if you want to make a change to all of these four things together, work with background, touch, layer, globals over here. If you want to make a change only in the time segment, click on time and then change whichever element you want to change within time. Um, go back. If you want to make a change to circles, tap on circles. And again, do you want to make a change to all three circles? Then do not open the stack group, work with layer and position. But if you do want to make a change to only one circle, then click on this and then select which circle you want to make a change to. And now you can change uh, for that specific circle. So very similar to how you work with Windows folders, right? So there are folders and folders can contain more folders or more files. Also, you know, you could create different actions. You can change the size of the entire widget from here. So scale is pretty much that. But first I want to take time and battery up here. To do that, let me just select time and bat inf, which I'm guessing is battery information. I select those, uh, not the icons, battery information. Right. And then if I go on top, there is a move tool. All right, so I've selected those two and there's a move tool up there. I tap on that and now I can move in X direction, which is horizontal and in Y direction, which is vertical. So I essentially want to go up. I'm clicking on the double arrow. It takes, it's basically quicker jumps and more jumps, right? Now I've done that. And now I need to increase the size of the entire widget, actually, not just the time battery, but also the icons. So I go into layer and I up the scale a bit. Now you'll notice that the time has actually gone off screen. So that only means that I need to go back, select time and battery info, move, and then bring it down below. So it's pretty easy that way. And once you've done that, uh, I can see that the icons, oh, always hit save, okay? Now the icons are still on the car and I'm unable to really see them too well. So select circles and icons, which pretty much makes up that entire area. Go into move tool and then bring it down onto that black portion where you can't see it. And now the widget is going to be super balanced. There you have it. So this looks really good. And now let's get into the functionality. So there's phone and message and browser icon, but they're not working right now. You could actually go ahead and customize that as well. So go back into KWGT, hit icons, hit the stack group, and you will see the three icons that are there. And now each icon can be programmed for a specific action. So tap on that icon, go into touch. There is a launch app already, but it's it wasn't set to phone until I tapped on it. So just go ahead and make sure that it's doing that. Okay, now same goes for text, go into touch, launch app. Sometimes, you know, it is set up, but it doesn't work. So just open it again and select the app that needs to be launched again. All right, so just redo the entire step. Um, I wanted Chrome and not the regular, the, the native internet browser. 
hit save and then just come out okay and now you're all set now if you look at the clock on the top it's got an image inside of it so it's masked with an image now let's say you want to change that uh, you could go into time then go into the layer that has the hour and then go into paint for once okay you'll see it's white in color but the image is actually not white because it's not the text color it's actually an image inside so go into effects go into bitmap and then pick image if you do that and then let's say i use this one you would see that the image inside has changed right and now i just have that image inside it let's say that you just wanted to change the text color of let's say the battery which is 38 percent right now so i go go into battery info i tap on the text which is 38 percent right there the first one the first layer and then go into paint it's white in color right now and i can just change it to let's say uh, something like uh, yellow maybe i mean i know it's not the best choice here but just for the heck of the you know the video um yeah and there you go it's it's yellow in color now so it's really that simple so guys that's how you use kwgt widgets and how you can customize them to better match the wallpaper the icon set and everything that you that you want to change so Nova Launcher along with KWGT widget is really powerful and it lets you change a lot of things. Now, I do have a lot of customization videos. Go through them and, you know, you could create your own as well. Thank you, guys.